Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. It's good to have you here today. Welcome to Angel, Rocio, Iris, Ingrid, Eric, uh, let's see, um, Rene, Julio Cesar. Uh, I'm very glad you're here, my dears, no matter the rain. So um, remember that this is our last week together. We are going to conclude section number five, but also we are going to work uh, tomorrow uh, on our last uh, speaking practice and modern review. And then we are going to conclude with the final exam, right? So I encourage you to please um, go to the platform and advance as much as you can, because remember that once you finish, you can uh, print your certificate, your diploma, and you can also um, uh, save it in a PDF format, and also you can um, you can um, you can also uh, um, download it as I said before. You can print it and you can send the information to the administration saying that you already finished the course and then they will open you the uh, space for get enrolled in the next uh, in the next module, right? So I encourage you to please uh, try to finish the platform as, as uh, soon as you can and then you will have a very nice weekend with no more um, compromises or pendings related to the platform. So for today, um, I would like to show you. Uh, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. So uh, we are in the 5.7 lesson objective that says that by the end of this session, you will be able to, ta to uh, take and give a message using tell and ask. Last night we learned that uh, we use uh, we learned the different verbs tell, ask, say. We include speak. We include the other verbs in order that you can have uh, very clear which is the difference between them. But for practical purposes on the platform, uh, we are using just tell and ask. Remember that tell is when I'm um, saying. Uh, a message to somebody else, right? I'm, I'm like giving a message to somebody else. So I'm not saying necessarily exactly um, with quotations uh, what the other person said, but it's like taking a message and paraphrasing what the other person said. The verb ask help us to request, right? Uh, or to, um, elaborate some questions, to perform some questions, to say some questions to people, right? So we ask questions. So um, if you have a video, as I said before, and messages uh, with tell and ask. So you can go to the platform and watch this video in order that you can have clearer the meanings of both in addition to what we studied last night and that you can uh, practice the right pronunciation uh, of the examples you have there. Uh, we, last night we studied this example. We can go back today if you want. And uh, 5.10 I think is going to be tomorrow that we are going to um, help uh, in uh, developing skills for summarizing and recognizing points of view. But this is going to be tomorrow or maybe today at the end of the presentation. So we are going to talk about cell phone etiquette today. So we have here this article, but I have extra information for you. And then we are going to have a speaking practice. So let me show you the other presentation that I have for you. Can you watch it? Can you watch my screen now? That says general rules of telephone etiquette. Yes. It okay, yes, excellent. Teacher. Thank you. Okay, it says that when you are on the phone, on the phone, that's the right form to say. When you are on the phone, you should be polite. It means that you need to choose the proper um, words carefully and use proper intonation, even in English. For example, uh, you cannot say, uh, when you're ordering a meal, you cannot say, 
Ah, um, I want a, a soda and I want French fries and I want uh, and I want a hamburger. It sounds like too impolite. So you may say, instead you can say, I would like to have a soda, some French fries and a hamburger. So you use I would like uh, because I would like is more polite than say I want, right? Because when you say I want, it's like like heavy and ordering and unpolite. So you need to be prepared. Uh, it means to have all the relevant details, like names, numbers, dates. When you work in an office, you need to manage many information that is relevant for the company. So when people call you, you need to be ready uh, to take a message or to give certain information that is requested uh, from clients, right? To be concise. To be concise means that you don't have to beat around the bush. You need to go directly, but in a very polite way. For example, uh, if a person calls you uh, and asks for someone, maybe you won't reveal the information where the person is, but maybe you will say, uh, I'm sorry, um, Mr. Perez is not here at the moment, but would you like that I can take a message for, for him? So the person will decide if he or she leaves a message for uh, Mr. Perez, and then you can take the message, right? So, uh, but you need to be concise and be polite. Uh, considerate, don't waste people's time on small talk. When you are on the phone, remember, on the phone, um, that's the right preposition, uh, you don't have to uh, ex be too extensive in conversations or joking. Unless you are in your free time and you're talking on your cell phone, it's okay. But if you're talking from the company um, a fixed line or, or a telephone, you need to be careful about, uh, to be considerate and don't waste people's time on small talk. Small talk means insignificant topics, right? That it doesn't add an extra value to the conversation. Be a helpful person. It means give the information needed, but if you can't help, find someone who can tell, um, who can help, or, and you have to tell the caller, the person who calls is uh, named the caller, you will call back with the information. It's very sad that when you call, it, you have to wait a long time, and when you ask, they send you uh, to another person, the other person cannot solve, and then send to another and another. So at the end of the call, you pass through, through four or five different uh, persons, and they didn't solve what you need. So it's very sad that uh, it's, it's a, a wasting of time when people doesn't want to be helpful. So, this is the telephone etiquette. Whenever you, you answer a phone call or whenever you call, you need to identify yourself when making a call. Remember? To um, address the caller by his name. If you know him or her, you have to say, um, um, thanks for calling, Mr. Figueroa. How can I help you? Um, good morning, Mrs. Barrera. Uh, what can I do for you, right? So you need to, if you know the person, you have to call um, by his or her name in a courteous manner, in a respectful manner. And keep the conversation brief. Be polite, but go straight forward to the point. Never be impatient. Uh, some people say, aha, aha, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it makes, it sounds like you're in a hurry up, hurry up, tell me, what, you, what do you need? No, you need to be, uh, uh, fast in taking the phone and answering the call and taking the message, but don't um, make feel people that you are in a, in a rush, that you're hurrying up uh, the conversation. Uh, listen carefully. So uh, sometimes uh, people um, in the companies, they ask you to don't, to don't use your cell phone during working hours because sometimes people is like this watching the phone 
in, in trying to answer the phone call and because the other person is not watching me, I'm uh, watching my phone, but I'm not completely conscious on what I'm doing so, because I'm not paying enough attention because my brain is divided in watching my cell phone and trying to keep the right conversation. So listen carefully. And if you want to listen carefully, you need to be um, paying attention. Do not interrupt. When the other person is speaking, you don't have to interrupt. You have to let him or her to speak and say what they need from you. Don't eat or choose something while speaking on the phone because uh, you can listen when people is like, it's so bad. Uh, when you listen that the other people is chewing uh, uh, like something like maybe, I don't know, but uh, um, um, gum, for example, it's not, uh, it's not polite. So if you don't wish to put the collar on hold, request his permission to do so. Uh, you can say, excuse me, uh, Mr. Figueroa, um, let, me, let me see if uh, the person you're asking for is in the company, so I'm going to uh, ask you to stay hold for a moment, okay? Or can you hold um, for a moment, please? Uh, could you, right? Could you hold for a moment, please? Um, and request the permission, right? And you inform to the person that you are going to do so. Close your conversation with an appropriate salutation. For example, thank you for calling. It's, it has been a pleasure to help you, right? We'll be here to help you whenever you, you need us, right? Uh, let the caller hang up first. Uh, it's a, a courtes courtesy um, manner or etiquette um, on the phone to let the caller hang up first. In case of missed calls, return the call within a reasonable period of time. Sometimes people call us and we don't have the, the time to uh, take the, the call in that very moment, but you can call later. If someone calls you by mistake, inform the caller politely that he reached a wrong number. And you can say this for, uh, by saying, Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, um, mom. Uh, this is not the right number. I'm not Mr. Fulanito, right? And you can inform because sometimes we don't say nothing and the person says all oh, the message and at the end we say, excuse me, this is the wrong number. <laughs> but we knew all the information first. So that's not polite. Okay. Um, in order to stop reading by myself, I will need some volunteers to help me to read these 11 telephone etiquette uh, rules, we can say, in order to be polite. So who wants to start? Miss teachers. Okay, please. Uh, one, make sure you identify yourself and speak clearly. Excellent. So in the case, hello, or oh, good morning, or um, good afternoon, good evening. This is Mr. Figueroa. How can I help you, right? So people know that you're talking with Mr. Figueroa. Thank you, uh, Julio Cesar. A volunteer for number two? Me, teacher. Please, Rocio. Okay, and the number two, ask for callers, permission before during the call on all, on all. Excellent, we already said that. Thank you, thank you very much. Number three, volunteer for number three? Me. Please. Okay. It is better to return a call than to keep the caller on hold for too long. Yes, You. thank you. You can say, excuse me, uh, sir, um, the person you're asking for is, uh, is not here at this moment, so I'll call you back. Would you like to leave a message? Uh, or do you need that I can take your, uh, yeah, your message and that he or she can call you back? And that's okay. Excellent. Number four. I have another volunteer. Uh, so Me. Yes, please. Do not let 
the phone to ring more than three times. Excellent, thank you. Uh, because it's very sad when, when it sounds and then rings and rings and rings and nobody uh, answer, right? So maybe some, sometimes can be an emergency. In those days, we need to be very careful on that, especially if we work in a service company, right? Okay, number five, volunteer. Me, teacher. Please. Do not interrupt the person while he, she is talking. Excellent. That's a golden rule in everything you do. Excellent. Very good. Number six. Volunteer for number six. Hey, me teacher. Please. Uh, never engage in an argument with a color. Thank you. An argument is like uh, who has the reason. For example, I say, no, you didn't call me. Uh, at that time that you said you're calling me now or no you didn't say that you say this and this and that it's like like fighting right on the phone so that's an argument so you need to avoid that and say uh, okay let me try to help you uh, I will try to um, move your case to another person that can help you or do whatever you can in order to that that person can solve the difficulty but don't start the argument because it's very difficult uh, to manage later. Sometimes this happens in some call centers. So that's why the people that work in call centers needs to be trained in order to avoid to engage in arguments with a caller because remember that clients always have the reason. Okay, number seven, volunteer for number seven. Me teacher. Yes, Ingrid. Do not, do not answer the phone if you are eating. Yes, because you, the other person, even though he or she's not watching you, they, they listen. They listen that you're eating or you're drinking. So it's, and it's, it's dangerous for you because imagine in order to swallow so fast, in order to start the phone, you can uh, so, uh, swallow in a bad way and it can go to your lung and you can start like coughing. Oh, oh, and it's very dangerous, even though you don't believe it, but it's better that you swallow, you breathe, you liberate your um, sore or your, uh, yeah, this part uh, of swallowing the, the, the food and then you start the conversation to, to answer the phone. Okay, number eight, volunteer for number eight. Me, teacher. Please, Rocio. Okay, number eight. Try not to sound rushed. It's it is better to return the call when you can you can give mm -hmm. the person the time they need. Yes, because it's like aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. okay. Call you later. It's like no, right? So it's better to have the time to listen carefully to the person and try to understand what he or she needs from us. Thank you. Number 10, volunteer for number 10. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, don't call the patient. Mm -hmm. the, patient the patients. Patient before 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. or after 9 a.m. Yes. Yes. They've given you permission to do so. To do so, okay. To do so. Yes, thank you. Remember, there are some business time, right? So you need to be respectful with, with people. If they are not your friends or your relatives or your family, be careful and respect the time. In these days, it happens that we are a little bit lost with their schedules because we have been working home or because we have been at home for a long period of time. So we uh, go to bed uh, a little bit late, but you need to be considerate with people and looking first the time, what time is it before you decide to call this person if uh, they are not, um, if you don't have enough confidence, right? If it's a client, much better. You need to be careful with the, the schedule for, for calling. Thank you. Number 11, volunteer. 
teacher forget it, the number nine. Ah, please, please go ahead, Rocio. Okay, and the number nine, Excuse always me. ask, mm -hmm. <laughs> always ask for the best time to have a car returned to the caller. Thank you. Yes, this happens when you have to take a message, right? You can ask, uh, what time do you prefer uh, Mrs. Lopez called you back? So the person will say, you can tell her that, or him that he can call me uh, as soon as he or she can. That's okay. But maybe the person says, please tell him or her that I will be in a meeting so that he or she can call me after 11 a.m. So you have to write in a message, please call back after 11 a.m., right? Thank you, thank you. And number 11, volunteer for number 11. When hanging, hanging up the phone, make sure the caller or person call hangs up first. Yes, because of courtesy, right? Uh, so it's much better that you wait that the other person hung up, right? Hung, hung up is uh, colgar, verdad? Uh, end, end the call, right? Because if not, they feel that, oh, this person hung me up and I was still speaking. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, um, these other tips, um, those are tips, right? For example, alertness show that you're wide awake, ready to engage in a conversation, right? So you need to be ready uh, to talk with a person when you decide to call. If it's a client, you need to be very careful on this. Pleasantness, put a smile in your voice. Now that we have been working with a mask here, uh, we have learned to smile with your eyes because when you're smiling, your eyes like, uh, show that you're smiling it happens with the voice when you're calling a person and you're like smiling the other person can feel the touch of that smile that when you're calling and you're like in a in not a good mood right the other person can feel that you're not in, in your best mood to, to to call so put a smile in your voice naturalness use simple straightforward slang, uh, avoid technical terms or slang. Remember that uh, even though we are learning English, uh, you need to look for the best words, uh, not too informal uh, for clients, right? Uh, you need to be a little bit uh, formal, but avoid too technical. It means that it's too uh, strange words that people cannot understand you. Distinctiveness, uh, it means speaks directly into, uh, into the phone. Use a normal tone of voice. The louder you are, the louder el everyone else becomes. So it means that you need to model your voice, not too high, not too um, low that no, nobody else can hear you. And they say, I cannot hear you, excuse me. So you need to moderate the tone of voice you are going to use. Expressiveness, talk at a moderate rate and volume, but vary your voice tone. It means not only the same tone of voice because people needs to feel like a little bit of emotion. For example, good morning. No, good morning, no. Good morning, Mrs. Aguizabal, how are you today? So it means I'm engaging with her with emotion. I'm asking, how are you today? I'm interested in how uh, she is, right? Okay, um, another cell phone etiquette. Um, in the, for the cellular, uh, don't record conversations or take pictures without permission. That's not a, a good etiquette. Uh, use ringtones that are not offensive. Sometimes we are in the office and then start to sound a phone call that is from our personal cell phone and there is a song like a little bit strange, <laughs> right? So you need to be careful. And if you like that kind of ring tones, be careful to have in a very low volume or a big vibration, right? That only you know when somebody's calling you. Uh, don't play music or videos that are offensive in the workplace. 
limit the use of cell phones in the workplace, depending on the company policy. Sometimes people need to work with a cell phone because it's, it's a work tool, but be careful and use it for the purposes it is. Don't display offensive material on your cell phone screen. Follow your company's policies about cell usage. And um, the etiquette guidelines for page usage, turn off pagers when not in use, use vibration mode in meetings and quiet areas, ask to be excused if you need to make a call in response to a page. Okay, so now is your turn. It's your turn to practice, so I won't uh, speak anymore, not by this time. So um, we are going to practice. So this is a model, a very short model of conversation. For example, could you tell me some etiquette at the phone you practice in your workplace? Of course, you should do this and this and that, and then you just continue asking, what about you? In my workplace, you have to do, or you don't have to, and then you start sharing, right? So I'm going to send you this um, image and I'm going to send you some etiquette rules that we already discussed in order that you can take some uh, for your um, conversation. So if you can take a picture by yourself, you can do it, but I will send it to you now. Okay. So the idea is creating a conversation regarding to cell phone etiquette uh, tips at the workplace. So do you have questions about what we are going to do now? Okay. No, no, no. okay, excellent. So let me send you the invitation. And please join when you receive it. The meeting rooms are open now. And I already sent you the images in order that you can continue working in trios. Um, 
<ríe> Los estoy escuchando, es que yo me conecté tarde. Hello, Daniel. Oh. Hello, may I help you? Daniel, basically we, are, uh, we have been talking about etiquette uh, rules on the phone, right? What should we do or we shouldn't do? Yes? And now is your turn uh, to, to share if you have etiquette on the phone or, et or um, phone uh, usage rules in your uh, workplaces. So that's the idea that you can share, right? Okay. I don't know if it's it clear in Spanish. <laughs> Hemos trabajado, Daniel, acerca de las reglas de etiqueta o las reglas de cortesía cuando usamos el teléfono, sobre todo en nuestros eh, puestos de trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, les he compartido en el chat, al WhatsApp, algunas reglas y un modelo de conversación para que ustedes compartan cómo son las políticas en su trabajo, qué cosas están permitidas y qué cosas no, o qué cosas ustedes hacen y qué cosas no. Sí. Yeah. ¿Sí? Yeah? Ok. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I leave you in order that you can continue uh, practicing, ok? Ok. okay Excellent. Perfect. Bye. Dashboard de phone de ¿Cómo yo sí te estoy poniendo? Porque aquí dice if you are in, si tú estás poniendo. I'm not. It is any. My dear, everything okay? Can I ask for questions? Eh, Noria quiere saber cómo decir eh, que no puede hablar si está comiendo. Eh, <laughs> no answer, no contesto. No answer the phone. I don't answer the phone if I am eating. I am o, o puede eating. decir también while, while I'm eating. Entonces estoy comiendo. Wow, okay. While, when, yes, or when I'm eating, 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 Uh, for me, um, do not let the phone to ring more than three, three times. Sorry, I am lost. Can you repeat, please? Seria the number number four. Uh -huh. Do not let the phone to ring more than three times. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Is everything okay? Do you have questions so far? No? Yes, teacher. Yes. I am confused. Can you uh, repeat yes. again? Yes. The idea is that you can um, share what uh, you do or what you don't do at your office, right? Uh, or in your workplace and that you take examples from the list of the uh, like 12 rules that I sent you in the image, in the blue image. So you can mention at least two that you do or that you don't do, right? For example, okay. for example, I can say, uh, let, me, let me share with you something about my workplace. Um, You can say, I never, I never engage in, in an argument with a caller in, in, in my workplace. 
because the client always has the reason. Um, when I take a message, I always ask for the best time to have a call return to the caller. And that's it. Those are two telephone etiquette tips that I, that I have to follow in my workplace. Because if you see the conversation, uh, it's that, can, could you tell me some etiquette at the phone uh, you practice in your workplace? So you just mentioned, right? And then you have to give back the question to the other person, of course. Uh, and you mention what you do and then what about you? So you, you give the chance to the other person to share with you, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just sharing two etiquette, excuse me, at the phone. Two etiquette rules at the phone, each participant. Okay, I don't know if it's it clear now. Teacher, yo lo entiendo que es como dar una recomendación, ¿verdad? Sí, es más que todo eso y que ustedes puedan mencionar de las reglas de etiqueta que van en la imagen. Y si ustedes tienen otras, pues está bien, ¿verdad? Pero esas son como algunas guías para decir cuáles de esas ustedes practican en su lugar de trabajo o qué cosas que tal vez no están ahí ustedes tienen prohibido hacer o no deben hacer. ¿Sí? De acuerdo a las, a, a las políticas, ¿verdad? Brevemente dos cosas, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Uh, I think that this clarifies the exercise. The idea is that you can follow like a brief conversation. Ok, teacher. Excellent. See you in a minute. Hello, hello. How is it going? Is everything okay here? Yes, it's, it's great. Okay, excellent. You have like uh, two more minutes in order to finish the conversation and then we will go back to the plenary session to share what you talk about the phone etiquette rule, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, excellent. Hello, hello, Eddie. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Um, fue un error, me salí. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. We are about to finish, right? So you can help your team from here, right? Because okay, there's some, there's one minute. So I think it's not worthy that you go back and then you okay. return, okay? Yes. So don't yes. worry. I'm, I'm just about to call them. So let me call them back to the plenary session. We will have like one minute for them to come back. So then you can support them. Okay, teacher. Okay, people is coming back. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome back. Who was the practice? Were you able to share at least two etiquette rules uh, on the phone in your workplaces? Okay, excellent. So who would like to start? Which team?
me, teacher and Emperatriz. Okay, please go ahead. Adelante. Okay, Emperatriz, could you tell me some etiquette at the find you practice in your workplace? Uh, okay. Um, in my workplace, uh, you have to do, you have to make sure identify yourself and speak clearly. Okay, so uh, what about you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, in my case, uh, do not interrupt the person while he or she is talking. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> it's okay, Miss. <laughs> yes, very good, excellent. You share based on your reality, right? So that's why you identify uh, that the the ones that more that apply the most in your workplaces. That's right. Excellent, very good. Thank you. Next okay. thing. Thank you, Beatriz and Rocio. Okay, who wants to continue? Next team. Let's see, maybe Julio Cesar team. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. And Noria y Elizabeth. Okay, Gloria, Elizabeth, and Julio Cesar. Noria, Noria. Noria, Noria excuse me, Noria, Noria. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, Noria. Could you tell me some etiquette at the phone you practice in your workplace? Uh, of course. Uh, okay. Uh, my workplace has four colors. Permission before cooking the phone, of course. And what about you? Um, okay, um, in my workplace, uh, try not to sound rushed. And um, do not answer the phone if you are eating. Okay, excellent. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Hi. What about you, Elizabeth? Okay. Julio, Julio Cesar, right? Sí, yes. 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 Um, could you tell me some etiquette at the phone you practice in your workplace? Ah, okay, in my workplace, I I always ask for the best time to have a call return. To the caller. Thank you for sharing. And what about you, my dear? What about you, Elizabeth? Uh -huh. <laughs> in, in caso. Yes. yes. Ah, in your workplace. My workplace um, uh, you don't have to call before 8 a.m. or after 6 p.m. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you Thank for you sharing. For Excellent okay. team. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you for sharing. Excellent. So let me see. Uh, maybe uh, Eric. Eric. Uh, team. Okay, teacher. Um, I think it is is uh, it is Nana um, Carlos. Okay. Please go ahead. Okay, it is, could you tell me some etiquette at the phone you practice in your workplace? Uh, it is. Can you hear us, it is? Hola. Oh, hello. Sorry. Yes, no, yes. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Uh, Que me dijeron, que me preguntaron. If, 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 could you tell us some etiquette at the phone 
in your workplace, that you practice in your workplace? Yes, of course. In my workplace, I should identify yourselves and speak clearly and helpful. Okay, be helpful. Excellent. And uh, what about you, Carlos? Carlos, can you share with us? Creo que se desconectó. Can you hear us, Carlos? I cannot see him. Okay. Se des... Sí, por eso fue que me confundí cuando me salí del, del break room. Pensé que había regresado, pero se desconectó. Entonces. Okay. So maybe uh, Iris, you can, uh, can, could you ask him please to edit? <laughs> okay. Could you ask to Eris, Iris? Uh, Eric? Okay. Could you tell me some etiquette and your workplace? At the phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, in my workplace, I practice. Uh, at the. Yes, at the, at the workplace, yes. Uh, in my workplace, I practice do not, do not answer the phone if you are eating. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing my ideas. So let me see if Daniel's team. Okay. Uh, Who was Rene? It? Okay, Rene and Daniel. Tell, tell me, Daniel. Okay. Could you tell me some etiquette at the phone you practice in your workplace? Yeah, um, you should not interact with a person while he or she is talking. What about you, Daniel? <clears throat> um, I, you, you don't, don't interrupt the person while someone is talking. Okay. Okay. It's a very similar rule, right? And, uh, and um, you don't uh, answer the, the, the phone mm -hmm. if you are in, in, in eating. If you're eating, okay. Excellent, very good. Thank you for Thank sharing, you for sharing. My ideas. Excellent, thank you teams. I think that all of you already participated. Uh, Carlitos have some problems with the internet connection, so we are going to continue. Uh, I have here an extra slide that says more problems to address. Uh, other issues that you can manage to respond to the caller is, for example, an example, right? A parent called looking for a student, right? So review the student roster, right? Before you, you respond, for example, if you work in a, in a school or uh, in a place where there are students, you can... Uh, the option one, if they are in our program, and then forward the caller to the to the advisor, right? Or the, to the teacher, to the professor. The option two, if 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 they are not informed, then the student is not in our program. Um, if you're looking for, uh, if the person calls uh, looking for a particular past or current employee of the company. Uh, you can review the staff roster or the options to respond before and transfer the call if they work to see if they work here. The option to let them know that they don't work here, right? So you have to ask first to, for example, human resources, if do we have an employee that uh, has the name they are asking for. Uh, a third case is if the caller wants to leave a message with you, which is the most common, right? Um, you can ask, whom may I say is calling and what is this regarding, right? What's the, the call about? If, you, if they can give you just a short um, subject for the message. 
Uh, what is your phone number and the best time to call you back? Remember to write the to write the time, date, and the phone number that the call is made in order to inform the other person, right? For example, uh, Mrs. Mena, I want to inform you that Mrs. Gonzalez calls you today, uh, Wednesday, in August the 20, what, what time, what, what date? Oh, yeah. August the 26th at 8 a.m. in the morning, and she wants that you can uh, call her back as soon as you can. So that's a full message because you know who calls, right? What, uh, what time, the date, and what's the message, uh, the, what uh, he or she requires from you, and what time you can um, call back. Okay, this is a, a nice message that I like it in this topic that says putting your phone away and paying attention to those talking to you. There's an app uh, that is called Respect. So uh, unfortunately, sometimes we are paying more attention to the cell phone than the people is talking to us. So we need to show some respect. And that's a very funny, um, message but it's true it says one person is complaining with the other and says why do i have to help the customer it's not my department and the other person of the customer service department says maybe it's not your department but it's your job so taking care of customers makes all of us look good a racing tie lifts all boats right and mainly in these times that it's very difficult, right? So we need to be polite, and we need to be careful of our clients, and we need to make sure that our companies find a very valuable person <coughs> as, as a employees or collaborators of that company. So I'm going to stop sharing this because I would like to go quickly to the platform and just to talk about the reading that you have there. So the instruction is that you have to read the article and try to understand the point of view of the writer, right? So you need to learn, uh, the, what I, I want to, you to do is to look for the, uh, to read the article and to look for the new words that you can find there, that you look it up in a dictionary in order that you can have the full idea of the, uh, reading and then then that, that you try to understand the point of view of the writer and the reading I will try to read it it says what do you do in a situation like this you're eating dinner with friends at a night at a night nice restaurant this is a very this is a little bit different uh, of the phone etiquette at the workplace but we need to have some phone etiquette in public places right so this is a, a different situation because this happened in a public place. So it says, you're having a great time when a phone rings at the table next to you. A man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly about problems he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This happens all the time on buses, in restaurants, everywhere. Many people find cell phones useful in their day in their day-to-day -day lives, but we all sat next to someone talking too loudly on the cell phone. You may want to tell the loud mouth to end the conversation, but, the, but let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only um, control your own behavior. Here are a few rules. Off means off. Respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. If a sign says, turn off cell phones, you don't use your cell phone. Uh, for example, in the bank, some banks, they, they say you, this is, you're not allowed to use your cell phone or it is not allowed to take calls uh, while you're here. So you have to obey that rule. Keep private conversations private. Speak softly. And for a short time, try to move away from other people in order that they don't know about your personal problems. Lights off, phone off. Never take 
holds in a theater or at the movies because it's very, uh, it's not polite that people is trying to pay attention to the movie they have paid for and other people is interrupting with a cell phone call. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous, right? And watch where you're going, where you're walking down the street and, and talking on the phone. As more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. So the next time you're getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. So that's a very nice advice. So uh, in the exercise, you can check some statements. The writer will probably agree with. You should never use a cell phone in public. No, it doesn't exactly say that. Cell phone users have, are very rude people, not all of them. And number three, turn off your cell phone if someone asks uh, you to do, you to do so, right? Yes. And for example, if there's a signal that says not cell phones allowed it or turn off your cell phone, you have to do it and respect the rules. You should challenge people who talk loudly on cell phones. No, it's not your work to do so. It's okay that on the phone, it's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car. No, it's dangerous. You can use a cell phone in public if you speak quietly. Yes, you can answer a call, but don't be too extense and do it uh, quietly and with a soft voice. Don't shout into the phone. Yes. That's right. Do not interrupt the other people in public places. Don't stand close to other people when you're using a cell phone. Yes, because you don't want to interrupt them and you don't want that they know about your personal information. So that's it. I would like to know if you have questions about this exercise. Maybe you can choose one, two, three, or the four choices that you have, right? So. Uh, if you read the article, you will see that the article matches with this, uh, with this point of view, right? So that's the point of view of the uh, writer, of the, yes, of the writer of the article. So I would like to know if, uh, do you have questions so far? No, teacher. No? Okay, excellent. I hope to see you tomorrow in order to have a review and then finish with the final exam and fast review basically on the topics that we are going to evaluate okay thank you very much for coming and i hope to see you tomorrow thank you bye bye take care bye bye good night good night good night